and today I have for you this really fun kind of disco inspired look. Um, I really love how sparkly and vibrant it is and I think it's definitely like that cool makeup trend going around right now. Um, I say multiple times in this video uh, my eyes are different shapes so my shapes might look a little different on each eye but hopefully when I'm staring straight forward um, they come across the same. Um, I am no makeup artist so this is in no way perfect but I think it's just a really fun look to do for going out or if you're feeling um, a little exciting that night. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this look then please keep watching. Okay, so I already started with my face makeup and my eyebrows done just because I really want to focus on the eyes for this look, um, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first to outline the shape, I'm going to be taking my MAC Pearl Glide pencil in the shade Petrol Blue, which is this really nice, like, deep blue color that has glitter throughout it, and we're going to be outlining the structured shape with this. So it's going to be a little hard for me because I'm holding the mirror so hopefully I don't get out of focus but I'm just going to be drawing a line from where my lashes end upwards. So this shape kind of looks crazy now but we are going to clean it up with some concealer later so don't worry. Um, but the general shape we're going for is a really dramatic wing and we're going to be covering the whole lid so um, I would just make this triangle shape and then follow your crease um, with the pencil so that when you see I look up the blue goes tucked into the crease and not above it. Okay, sorry guys, I had to do that next eye off camera just because I have to do it two-handed because I do pull on my eye a little bit, which is not a very good thing, but for me, my eyes kind of have like a wrinkle in them, so it's really hard for me to do a kind of wing coming out the side. And I know these look very different at the moment, but my eyes are kind of different shapes, so hopefully you guys can tell that when I look straight on at the camera that these are even, or at least <laughs> I think they're even. And I personally want this to be kind of like a straight and rounded ring wing. <laughs> I don't really want this wing to like curve up and then slant down like most traditional wings do. And don't worry if this step looks very messy because I am about to fill in this outer portion with this blue liner. So with this liner right now, I am just going to start drawing in the like outer portion with it and bring it in about a third of the way. And now before it sets, I'm just going to be taking my finger and kind of smudging out the edges. Now before we start adding more colors and blending, it's crucial that we get our defined shape. So I grabbed a makeup remover wipe here and a brush in my concealer and we're just going to clean up the edges underneath and kind of on top to make sure that we have that perfect shape. Hopefully I have the shapes about even. I'm no makeup artist so this probably isn't perfect. I'm just having fun with it. But now that I did remove some of my face makeup underneath the wings, I am going to be touching that up with some concealer and a flat brush. So now we can move forward finally. Um, and I'm going to be taking this ColourPop Super Shop Shadow in the shade Coconut. It is this beautiful deep shimmering blue and I'm going to be picking that up on my finger and we are going to be applying this to the entire lid. I'm going to start in the middle of the lid and then bring it even to the inner corner and I'm going to meet it to the dark blue on the edge. Now we want to continue this structured shape on the inner corner of the eye but I don't want to take the dark blue so I'm grabbing this synthetic brush that comes to a pretty flat point and I'm going to be picking up some of this product and then we are going to be etching a line throughout the inner corner as well. Now to make this look even more exciting, we're going to be dipping into my Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. I love that um, looks that I can whip out this palette and use just because the colors are so beautiful and they are super sparkly so it's made for more fun looks. 
Um, so to begin with, I'm going to be taking the shade Vega, which is just this bright like cobalt blue, and I'm going to be picking that product up, and I'm going to be focusing this on the areas where we put the color pop shadow where it's a more vibrant blue. And then to deepen up the outer corner and help it blend into that sparkly shade, we are going to be taking the shade Galaxy, which is kind of more of a gray based greeny blue and I'm going to be picking that up on my pinky for a more precise application and I'm going to be tapping this into the outer corner of our wing. And then to get glitter even on the outer corners of the wings, I'm going to be taking this pointed Luxie 211 concealer brush and I'm going to be picking up the glitter on this brush and then filling in the outer corner. Okay, so now that we have that done, I'm going to be moving on to my NYX Roll-On Shimmer in the shade Platinum, and we are going to be applying this to the inner corners of the eye. And then I like to drag it in a little bit on the lower lash line to kind of create an inverted wing um, to match our wings on the outside. Now I'm going to apply a heaping layer of mascara with my YSL Baby Doll. Um, if you guys want to use falsies of this look, you can. I just think it's kind of more of like a cool edgy look if you leave it with just normal mascara. That way it looks more fun and effortless rather than if you put a full set of falsies on. So I'm going to give a good coat of this to my top and bottom lashes. Okay, so now we're going to quickly finish off the face. I don't want to do anything dramatic to distract from the eyes, so as you guys can see, I did an extremely subtle highlight today. Since the eyes are so sparkly, I didn't want to have a huge layer of like a beam on my face either. I think it'll be too distracting. So today, I'm just going to be applying a very light layer of a baby pink blush. I am using Dandelion by Benefit. And I'm just going to take it on this big fluffy real techniques brush and I'm just going to be applying that to like the apples on my cheeks and wisping it back. And now to finish this off, I'm not sure how this is going to look. I'm going to be using a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Istanbul. It's just a really pretty pink matte color. Um, I didn't want to do, like I said, anything too distracting on the lips. If you guys want to even go and next step and go even more minimal I would suggest just doing like a clear gloss or maybe some chapstick but I'm gonna go ahead and try this out then I'm just gonna pat my finger over it to take away a little bit of the pigment okay guys so that's it for today's makeup tutorial I hope you guys found it interesting and a little bit more fun. It's a little different than my very typical makeup looks. I usually do a very natural look, but lately I've been really into dramatic, kind of more fun and edgy makeup. Um, so if you guys want to see more tutorials like this, just let me know. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I've been loving all the support from you guys. And yeah, thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video.